Hey guys, so today I got another New Editions unboxing video, and I tell you what, like, I don't know what's going on here lately. Like, it seems like almost every day I come home from work, there's another package waiting on me. Uh, I'm not sure who's ordering all this stuff online or whatever, but I, it can't be me. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe it's Jacqueline or the kids that just are doing all this ordering for me. Because I'm telling you, you know, I've already done a couple of new edition unboxing videos here just recently, and now I'm doing another one. This stuff just keeps showing up, and it's just so weird and strange, and I just don't understand. But, um, actually, I actually have been buying quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of stuff on eBay. Some people don't like eBay, you know, and some people do. But, uh, here lately, I've gotten some really good items off eBay, and I can't wait to show you guys what I've got here for you today. Um, you know, it's fun collecting, it's fun, you know, spending money, you know, at the same time, you know, I make sure that I take care of my family, pay bills first and everything, but uh, my collection's growing and everything, you know, it's, it just takes time to grow a collection and money as well, but um, I just try to make, you know, good decisions when I, I get stuff from my collection, and I've actually, believe it or not, gotten more picky about what I add to my collection, but um, anyways, I'm real excited to show you what I have, so let's get started. All right, so as you see, I've got three boxes here on the table. So three different uh, purchases, and um, all of these did come off of eBay. And like I said, I, over the years, I've gotten so much stuff from eBay. I've gotten some really, really good stuff. You know, I really have. But at the same time, though, you know, it's always fun, you know, going and finding the stuff myself in person. You know what I mean? Antique stores, flea markets, road trips, all that kind of stuff. That's what's really fun. But I hope you guys like what you see here. So let's go. First box. Check this out. I have actually a couple uniforms in here. And a pair of pants. So I'll show you the uniforms here. This one is really cool. I like it a lot. This one is a uh, World War II. It's an Ike jacket. It's not a dress jacket. It's an Ike jacket. And it is the um, it has the 10th Army patch here on the right shoulder. And it has the 14th Corps patch on the left shoulder. So double patch, which is really cool. And uh, then it's got, you know, the chevrons for a technician fourth grade on both arms. Got two gold bars here, you know, so that would be a year of overseas service and got a service uh, stripe as well. It's got four ribbon bars. It's got the collar disc with, you know, flaming bomb ordnance and everything, which is really cool. And um, I didn't see a, a, a name or anything. But, you know, sometimes you can look in inside the, you know, the arm, the shoulder area and find something. But nothing that I saw. Overall, a really nice jacket. And um, I actually got it for, uh, you know, shipping and everything. I always include the shipping. I break it all down. And um, the shipping and everything I paid for this jacket was $61 total. The jacket and shipping combined. So, for uh, kind of a, a different unit and everything, maybe you don't see too often, uh, $61 I'm happy with the purchase. Check this out. My next jacket here, this one is a, a dress jacket. So, you know, it's the long jacket. It's not an Ike. And this one is Army Air Corps or Air Forces. And look, it's got a hand-stitched CBI patch, China, Burma, India patch here on the uh, left shoulder. Very, very cool. Really nicely done. You know, I love seeing stuff like that. And then it's got, you know, the Army Air Forces or Army Air Corps patch, which, you know, it's got some staining on it, but that's okay. It's got um, chevrons on here, which represent a technician uh, fifth grade on both arms. It's got uh, four gold bars here for two years of overseas service. It's also got the ruptured duck right here for honorable discharge. And then right here on the right uh, wrist, it's got the uh, Meritorious Unit Citation uh, patch on there, which is really cool. Overall, really nice jacket. Again, this one I didn't see a name or anything in. But um, it did actually come with this pair of pants right here. 
Let me show you. Now the pants do have some some holes in them and everything, some mothing. But um, still a pretty nice pair of pants. You know, they're wrinkled, which they could be cleaned up some. Just some little holes here and there and everything. And uh, the pants are, what size were they? They're a 32, 31. So they're pretty much my size. I wear a 32, 30. So 31 length wouldn't be uh, too much of a difference. But so got the pants with the jacket. And uh, for uh, the the dress jacket here with the CBI patch and the pants, the total I paid for those came out to seventy dollars. So the jacket and the pants, and that doesn't you know include shipping. So jacket and pants and everything, I've got seventy dollars in this in this setup right here, which I think is a good price as well, especially for a hand stitched uh, CBI patch. I mean that's pretty cool. Moving on here. Got another jacket. So there's only one in this box. This one's pretty cool as well. This one is a, it's, again, it's another World War II dress jacket. It's got double patches. It is the sixth army patch here on the right shoulder. And the left shoulder right here has the Western Pacific Forces patch, which is pretty cool. Both arms have the, um, Chevrons on them, which represent a uh, technician fourth grade, which is pretty cool It's got four gold bars here for two years of overseas service and it's got a service stripe Got five ribbon bars here some with stars, which is pretty cool It's got the ruptured duck for honorable discharge and this one also has the meritorious unit citation patch on the right wrist It's got both collar discs and uh, this is actually a collar disc for Quarter Bastion, which is pretty cool. And then it's got just your basic U.S. one there. This one, again, uh, is not named. It just has the size 39 regular in there. But uh, overall, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, no pants or anything with this one. But uh, the total I have in this one, shipping and everything, was $46. And so, again, I think for... I mean, this jacket has a lot going for it. And I really like buying, you know, jackets, whether it's a dress jacket or an Ike jacket... I really like to buy the ones that look like this. Double patches, double chevrons, honorable discharge, gold bars, ribbon bar, you know, all this, collar disc. I mean, it's all great, and it just kind of adds to the value and everything. And then it can also help you maybe kind of learn about the soldier, maybe where they served or, what you know, more about the unit they were with and everything. So I definitely like that. Last box I got here for you. Check this out got another jacket it's just one in here and so what i was going to tell you is i actually got these first three jackets from the same seller that i, I made some other purchases from in some of my other uh, new editions unboxing videos here recently and that seller i bet you uh she's probably posted i don't know maybe 40 or 50 jackets probably 40 at least and i've bid on so many of them i bet you i've bid on 75 percent of what she's had listed I've been outbid on a lot and everything, but um, I've won, I think I've won either six or seven from her now, including these three, but really great seller. I'm following her. I know she's got some more stuff she's going to post soon, so I'm looking forward to that. But uh, so this right here came from a different seller on eBay, and uh, bear with me. It's another World War II dress jacket. So that of this uh, unboxing, on this unboxing video, I've got one Ike jacket and a uh, three dress jackets now this one uh doesn't have as much going for it as the last jacket i just showed you but uh, this one's pretty cool it's got the 37th infantry division patch here on the left shoulder kind of a harder unit to find from at least from what i've seen and uh, i know some people collect specific units and i know i saw there's a collector online on the facebook groups who has who only collects this unit and had I don't know, maybe like 15 or 20 jackets of the 37th, which I thought was really cool. But um, it's got uh, the chevrons on here on both arms for technician fifth grade, which is pretty cool. It's got uh, two gold bars here for one year of overseas service. It's got three ribbon bars, two of which have stars. And then it's got the honorable, uh, I mean, it's got the rupture duck here for honorable discharge, which is pretty cool as well. Um... This one, you know, not quite as much going for it as some of the other ones, but um, 
somebody hand wrote the size on there 37 regular if you can see that but um something i was going to show you you know the other three weren't named and you know a lot of times you'll see like a laundry number or something up in here where usually where the size tag is but uh, i always look inside the shoulder area and i wanted to show you guys this it's actually upside down like this is right side up so if you flip it over like this it's actually got some uh some stuff written in here in ink and it's very hard to see but right there it almost looks like the name will w-i-l-l -L, or it could be william and maybe the i-a-m is worn off but and it looks like t-h-u-s or i mean it's just so hard to see and then right here there's a there looks like a number four four six three or four six five and then I can't make out what that is right there. I wish I could, but you know, it's unfortunately sometimes, you know, just over years and stuff getting washed and everything, it just fades. The ink fades and everything. It's hard to make out what it says, what it is. But um, maybe one day I can kind of decipher what it is, and that would be pretty cool to know at least maybe the soldier that, that this was issued to and that served and everything. <clears throat> but um, so this jacket here, you know, again, doesn't have quite as much going for it as the jacket I showed you before, but there's still a lot here. And again, it is a somewhat harder unit, I guess, to find. I'm not saying rare, but maybe harder than some of your average units. And so, you know, I did pay up a little bit for this one. And this one, uh, shipping and everything, I've got $77 in it. I'm not having much luck here with my left hand trying to get this looking good for you guys. But So $77, not too bad. Um, I'm more than happy to have paid that and uh, let me kind of bring them all here and show you them all together I'm telling you I love jackets and a lot of you guys have seen me really getting into the Navy jumpers the last year or so But um, I really like getting into the jackets as well and I've got so many of them I bet you just World War II Ike and field jackets I've probably got at least 40 of them now And so here they are all four of them I got the pants here behind me, but really, really cool additions. I'm grateful to have been able to, to win these on eBay. Hope you guys like this video. And uh, I want to encourage you, if you've been kind of on the fence about making YouTube videos, or maybe if you got just discouraged and you stopped making videos, keep it up. Start making videos again, you know. Start, or just start all together. Just start making videos if you never have, you know. Like, we need all the help we can to keep history alive to keep um excitement and interest in the hobby and everything and you know it's so fun collecting stuff and preserving you know the memories and honoring those that served and everything we got a lot to be thankful for there's always something to be thankful for but anyways guys i love all of you thank you for all your support i appreciate it so much and uh i'll be getting back to you soon